Judgment in Ezekiel, Ethan Red and another, and Her Majesty's Treasury and others. Lord Hodge will give the judgment. National Savings and Investments, which I will refer to as NS&I, is a government body that offers retail savings and investments to UK customers. By that means, it enables the UK government to borrow at a reasonable cost. It's a large organisation with a substantial bank infrastructure. Since 1999, it has outsourced its operational services to the private sector and has retained a core of between 140 and 170 civil servants under the Director of Savings who decide on matters of policy. In order to make use of its infrastructure and obtain contributions towards its costs, NSNI in recent years has offered its banking and accounting services to other public sector bodies. It describes those services as business-to-business -business or B2B services. In 2011, NSNI started a public procurement exercise in order to appoint a new private sector body to perform its operational services. Atos IT Services Limited won the competition and was awarded the contract in 2013. In the advertisement of the opportunity for that contract, which was published in the official journal of the European Union, NSNI made clear that the outsourced service provider was expected to provide operational services for both its own retail banking and accounting services and also for its B2B services to other public bodies. Its published estimate of the likely turnover, depending on the success of the B2B services, was in the range of 1.25 to 2 billion pounds. At about the same time, the government has been considering how to support the provision of childcare to working families. Eden Red, the appellants in this case, provide services to employers who under the current scheme in the UK obtain tax relief by providing childcare services for their employees. The government has decided to replace that scheme with a new arrangement called Tax-Free Childcare, or TFC. Initially, the government thought that the new scheme might, like the current system, involve the use of vouchers, but its thinking has developed over time. The TFC scheme now involves parents setting up childcare accounts into which HM Revenue and Customs contribute a 20% top-up. During the period when the government was developing its proposals, NSNI approached the Treasury and offered its B2B services as a means of providing the scheme. On 29th July 2014, the Treasury decided that NSNI would deliver the new TFC scheme for HM Revenue and Customs by providing and administering the childcare accounts and the supporting services. In order to do so, HM Revenue and Customs and NSNI have prepared a Memorandum of Understanding, setting out the services which are to be provided. In addition, NSNI and ATOS proposed to amend their outsourcing contract to enable ATOS to provide the necessary operational services for NSNI to provide uh, the TFC service. Eden Red has challenged the proposed amendment of the contract between NSNI and ATOS as a breach of European procurement law. In short, it is argued that the amendments of the ATOS contract were substantial and so there should have been a new procurement process in which other economic operators could take part. Eden Red's claim, which was expedited to enable a prompt decision, was dismissed in both the High Court and the Court of Appeal. Eden Red then appealed, uh, applied for permission to appeal to this court. In a judgment which I have prepared, this court unanimously gives Eden Red permission to appeal, but dismisses its appeal. The current rules for the procurement of public contracts, including the rules that govern the modification of those contracts, are contained in the Public Contract Regulations 2015. They implement the latest EU directive on this subject. The outcome of the appeal depends on the interpretation of those regulations. We have concluded that while the modifications to the ATOS contract are detailed, they do not amount to a considerable extension of the scope of the contract, and we reach this view for three reasons. First, 
To ascertain the scope of the existing contract in this context, the court looks to its terms and also to the documents which formed part of the tender process, including, importantly, the advertisement for the procurement in the official journal of the European Union. That advertisement clearly envisaged that ATOS would be, provided, would be expected to perform such operational services as NSNI uh, required within the stated financial limit to enable NSNI to provide its expanded B2B services to other public bodies. ATOS and the other bidders were required to have sufficient financial capacity to perform this role. Secondly, the contract with ATOS contained terms to make sure that the modifications did not alter the economic balance between the parties or enhance ATOS's profit margin. The proposed operational services to allow NSNI to deliver TFC do not alter the essential nature of the services that ATOS provides. And thirdly, it was not suggested that the contract's envisaged uh, expansion of the B2B services was an attempt to get round EU procurement law. In our view, the proposed expansion, which was the subject uh, of a financial limit, was within reasonable compass. In the judgment, the court also considers a, a second ground of argument in, uh, relating to the 2015 regulations, but did not need to decide that point. And also, for the reasons given in the judgment, the court also rejects the alternative argument by Eden Red that the arrangement was in substance a contract between HM Revenue and Customs and ATOS. The court therefore dismisses the appeal and sets aside the interim order which has until now prohibited the government from implementing the TFC scheme. Thank you. The court is now adjourned.